Welcome back. Hello if you are new. Today I have a couple of things that I just want to organize. I don't know about you guys but I don't live in a very big space and I have to switch out my seasonal clothes seasonally. I don't have enough room to hold my winter and my summer clothes all in one closet so today is the day. I did this with my kids to be honest a, a while back but as you know, if you're a mom, then you kind of put everybody's needs way before your own. And here I am tackling my things that I need to tackle very last. But before I can get on to switching out my clothes and organizing, I love to first clean and start with a fresh slate. And here I am starting off with the bed. This is probably my most favorite thing I like to do before really getting into, you know, getting it down and dirty. But... I also had a whole hamper of laundry that I needed to put away and I am just going to put this away. I'm not going to focus on organizing just yet. I just want to get all this stuff into my closet. That way I can see what I have to organize with. And I did go ahead and do laundry um, a couple days ago and I folded it all nicely back in here and well, my kids were looking for something for school and they threw this hamper upside down so things here were not organized were not folded even half as good as when I did it so today was just one of those days I I had a meltdown in front of my kids which you know ne never happens if I have a meltdown I try to do this on my own time but it was just getting too much and today I had full intentions of going through and organizing my entire house and to be honest, I only got done with my bedroom and the kitchen. So that's just sometimes that's what happens. But I want to encourage you guys that if you are in the same phase of life where I am at, you are not alone. It's going to be okay. It sucks at times, but we are going to get through this. So come on, baby. is put away I did not organize it but ain't by any means but this is what I'm working with it's a lot as you can see there's stuff falling off I have dresses down here I have dresses up there and this is my closet this is all the space that I have so I do want to keep it as minimal and as organized as possible and I have already decluttered all my clothes. If you've missed my previous series where I decluttered my home, I'll leave it down below. But this is all decluttered. It just needs to get organized. And here, since this, there's not a lot of space, I need to go ahead and take out my summer clothes. Like my, you know, my cute little summer dresses since I won't be wearing them anytime soon. I need to go ahead and put them away. That way I can have room to put my sweaters. As you can see, I have just kind of stuffed them in here because there's no room to hang him so i'm gonna go ahead get my summer clothes out organize my winter clothes really nicely and i got sent these three awesome under store under the bed storage so this is going to be awesome for me to put away my summer clothes put it under my bed and then just kind of switch it around when the seasons go since i don't have a big closet this is just the perfect solution, but it just comes in little squares like this. But when you open them up, as you can see, pretty huge, pretty excited to see how much of my summer clothes I can store here and then under my bed. 
So I am going to start by taking out all of my summer clothes, all of my tank tops, my tops, my summer dresses, all of that good stuff. It is getting quite cold here. I know here I am like shorts and a tank top, but that's because I'm cleaning. Uh, if I was to go out, I obviously wouldn't wear this going out, but I am going to grab all of my clothes, put it on my bed, that way I can see what I have, and then I am getting these large under the bed storage containers and I ended up using only one which is like crazy like you can fit so much stuff in here my entire entire summer wardrobe fit into this container so I'm gonna put my swimming suits all that good stuff back in here and I am going to store it under my bed and if you guys know then you know I live in a very small apartment me my husband and our four kids and Utilizing under bed storage has been a game changer like if you guys live in a small space Using your under under your bed is like the best way to store things especially things like this like I won't be reaching out to grab my clothes you know throughout fall and Winter and even into spring so it is nice to have it under there But then if I do need access, I will go ahead and get them out so if you guys are in need of some organizational bins like this for under your bed, I will leave a link to the one I have down below in case you guys are interested. Wow, you guys, I did not expect absolutely all of my summer clothes to fit into one container like I have two more that is so crazy like this is my entire summer wardrobe this is just so insane to me this is awesome did not take a lot of space and that way I can just store it under my bed and then when you know it's time for me to switch out my clothes again I can put my sweaters in here and it's so nice that I have two more extra ones because you know sweaters are plump and juicy they take a lot more room than summer dresses so in the winter time I might be or you know when I switch my clothes out I might be even able to use all three of these but this is awesome I'm gonna go ahead and store it under my bed now that there is nothing under my bed I can go ahead and put this over there and it's very easy to access if I need to you know like let's say I'm going on a vacation in the middle of December I don't have to go into my storage and it's just a whole fiasco over there this way I can just take it out get what I need put it back you'll never know it's there And now that my summer clothes are out of my closet, I just want to go ahead and reorganize. I had sweaters hanging on top, t-shirts on bottom. It was just a whole mess express. I also had a bunch of sweaters that just did not even have a hanger to hold. And I refused to buy more hangers because what I have is what I need. I don't want to buy more things that I don't need. So now that there is room, there are extra hangers, I can finally hang up my sweaters that way I even know that they're there but I'm going to take care of that and then I just want to go ahead and clean the surfaces and this room is clean and organized And just like that, we went from a cluttered to a very simple, minimal capsule wardrobe, if you will. Have my shirts and my flannels all up there, and then I have my fuzzy and warmer sweaters down here. So, finally, finally, it is back in order. It's looking so much better than before. And making my way over here into my dresser, I was helping with homework while I was cleaning and organizing. Mom life just doesn't stop. Today my kids didn't have school. It, there was some kind of like a teacher's day. I don't know, but let me tell you, it threw me off schedule and it just gave me a lot more to do than I already had. <laughs> but 
uh, we're surviving mom life. I don't know if there's anybody out there that is striving and just doing awesome. And I'm so happy for you if you are. If I'm being honest, I am on the struggle bus over here. I am trying to do homework, after school activities, and you know, doing it all by yourself is a little bit overwhelming at times. But I am grateful, I guess, that I have this opportunity to learn from. Still, it's got nothing on you tonight. We've got and now I have made it here into my kitchen and now it is much much later on into the day I think it was like around four ish o'clock which is pretty late for me I like to get all of my cleaning done early on in the day that way I can focus on other things in the evening but today was a mood my toddler is going through something and it's just been it's been hard lately so here I am just cleaning my kitchen and if I was to turn you guys over to see my living room like it would it is just too much and if you guys followed me on Instagram you saw that I posted a little video on that but I kid you not I spent so much time cleaning that living room like deep cleaning it and while I was in my room working on my room my toddler took out all the toys that he could possibly find in his room and it was just something else there was crackers all over the floor you know what today is a day today is a day but I try not to let that stop me from having a good day you know we had a breakdown we kind of sat there for a minute or two, let it go, and we're moving on with our life. I think it's very, I mean, I think it's okay. I mean, I know it's okay to have a bad day, but what's important is not to stay in that bad mentality. And even though today was very hard, you know, struggling with housework and then homework, being frustrated, not, in, not understanding how to do homework. I mean, have you guys done homework with your kids? Like like i i'm trying to sit here and do russian homework with my kids and i can barely even understand it and it's just all the frustrations of the world just kind of got the best of me today but like i said before it's okay to have a bad day but the most important thing is just to get out of it have your bad day and then have a great one the next day And a couple days ago, me and my husband went thrifting, and this is kind of a new thing we picked up. I really enjoy doing this with him. He always finds the coolest things, but anyways, we found this organizer. It was like $1.99, and these cubes that I had previously are from Costco, and they worked well, but this thing just fits here snug like a glove, and like to the eye, it just makes things so much more organized. So. I went ahead switched this out um, but I am going to be reusing those Costco containers in another drawer but look how beautiful that looks that makes my heart so so happy but the next drawer that I'm going to work on is this I don't know utensil drawer I don't know what you want to call it my husband's a hunter and a fisherman he has all of his supplies over here a little bit too much for me but you know it is what it is no big deal I'm gonna wipe it down and then reorganize all of these cubes and then organize all of our stuff back in there that way I just know what's in there there was a lot of crumbs so I'm just really happy to get this place cleaned and organized And now that everything is organized and cleaned, the last thing I want to do is work on these floors. And here you can kind of see a sneak peek into my living room, which was a disaster of its own. But 
I'm going to sweep these floors and then I'm also going to give it a good good wash because if you look real close there's berry smudges it looks like a murder scene <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead take care of that and that is all I had time to do today I had a huge list of things I wanted to organize and clean but this is just everything I had time to do you know with dealing with the kids cooking for them helping with homework you know mom life just never ends but I hope that it, this kind of encouraged you guys that no matter how hard and how tough your day may be, it is okay to have a hard day, but the most important thing is to get up and then try to be a better version of yourself. And for me, that is what I am working on. I am working on having my clean home. That way my brain can be clean, but I hope that you guys enjoyed and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.